Philippians 4, 4. Now if you're thumbing through the good book looking for a morale booster, you might stumble upon Philippians 4, 4. It's right there, clear as day. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. It's like there's an emphasis with that, again I say, part. As if the Apostle Paul is placing a sticky note on your refrigerator, so you don't forget to toss a little jubilation into your spiritual diet every day. And why not? We're talking about a form of joy that isn't contingent on the ups and downs, the roller coaster ride that life can be sometimes. It suggests a deeper, more steadfast kind of joy. Fun fact. This wasn't Paul hanging out at a spa retreat when he penned these words. Nope. The guy was under house arrest, living with the constant knowledge that he might lose his head, quite literally. Yet he's there telling people to rejoice, that right there is the power of juxtaposition. I can relate, in a far less dramatic way, living in Portland, Oregon, where the skies are often a gallery of fifty shades of gray. You learn to find your sunshine. Sometimes it's in the laughter with friends, the smell of fresh rain, or the ambiance of a cozy coffee shop. So, Philippians 4. 4 serves as a kind of ancient post-it note, reminding us to focus on the good, on what we have in the Lord, no matter the circumstances. And that kind of joy, the kind that resonates from the inside out, that's the real McCoy.